Good morning to all. In last video, we discussed about the direction control valve and how the direction control valves are classified and we discussed about poppet valves, spool valves and today we are going to discuss about some other classification in pneumatic or hydraulic valves and before that we just go with an recap what we discussed in last video. I just go with and recap. So the first point in last videos we discussed about poppet valves and uh, how the 3 by 2 poppet constructed DCV valves are working and we discussed about spool construction valves and we go with the spool type 4 by 2 DCV and we go with the 5 by 2, 5 by 3 DCV valves and we discussed about all the symbolic representation of valves and with the help of symbolic representation only we can be able to design a simulation either by using a genetic based simulation or we are going with a fluid sim or automation studio based simulation. And then we will go with a selection of DCV valves using fluid sim that all we discussed in last class. And we just go with today's topic and today except direction control for safety and maintenance and protective purpose of your pneumatic or hydraulic. We are using some other control valves also. One is pressure control and another one is on flow control. So in pressure control, normally you are going to control the pressure and you are going to measure and monitoring the pressure by using gauge and also you are going to use a pressure control valves. So in pneumatic, the pressure control valves are classified into one pressure limiting valve and pressure sequence valve and pressure regulator. Commonly we are preferring this pressure regulator and in some cases we are preferring pressure limiting valve also. So by that we just go with the next content. So first we are going to deal about pressure limiting valve. So you are going to reduce the pressure for example in your compressor if you are going to set a 6 bar but in some application if your load is uh, heavier you are going to add more load from 6 kg to 8 kg then in some cases you have to limit the pressure as the pressure increases or as the pressure decreases you cannot be able to hold the load. So to that purpose we are using this type of pressure limiting valves and also for some other sudden change in your application scenario you can be able to use this pressure limiting valve and you can be able to fix your or limit your pressure to your application. So first the prevent the pressure in a system from rising above the permissible maximum. Suddenly if there is any rise in the pressure you can be able to reduce by using this pressure limiting valve. And the construction feature of the pressure limiting valve is similar to your poppet arrangement where you are having a poppet and this poppet is going to fix over the seat and if there is any pressure applied or any force applied in your external manual operation the poppet will move upwards or downwards depend upon that the opening will be created and the excess pressure will be sent out to the atmosphere. And these valves commonly used for safety purpose which is used to protect the device, protect the system if there is any abnormal condition or abnormal accidents or activity happened in your circuit. And as soon as the pressure relieved to the desired figure the valve automatically closed by using a spring constant so that it will maintain that constant pressure. And this is going to be elaborated in next slide that is in pressure reducing or regulator. That is a common uh, valve, pressure control valve we are used in all your pneumatic and hydraulic system where you can be able to control the constant outflow of your pressure. Suppose in your compressor if there is any fault occur or if your compressor will be misbehave so that uh, for example if you are going to set a 5 bar if it is moving from 5 bar to 5.1, 5.2 or 4.9 dip down this regulator can be able to maintain the output will be 5 bar throughout the system flow. So for that purpose and for maintaining the safety purpose we are using this type of pressure regulator valve. And the pressure regulator valve will be in poppet type construction. So you just assume this will be our 3 by 2 poppet valve or 2 by 2 poppet valve. In your 3 by 2 or 2 by 2, I just go with a 2 by 2. So in your 2 by 2, 
you are assuming there will be an input and there will be the dotted line shows that you can able to control the pressure and this arrow spring will explains that you can able to control by one by an manual actuation and another the return path will be an variable spring actuation so that you are going to have a screw or a press push button type arrangement and if you are going to press the poppet which is going to move downwards at that time the spring i just go with a pointer so this spring will compress so that the poppet will move away from the seating arrangement and it will create the input to your output so that the input will follow through the output if there is any change in pressure then the poppet will reset and it is come back to its original position or you can able to increase or decrease the position of your poppet with respect to the given application it can automatically do for our pressure maintaining towards the circuit so this will be the simple pressure reducing valve which we are commonly used in our uh, pneumatic applications and uh, i just go with uh, some demo videos which i took from uh, some youtube channels for our understanding i just showing this in later videos we are going to discuss in detail about how the simulation circuit can be drawn by using an fluid sim software so this video which i already put it in uh, sjf uh, video another one channel where the construction of your pressure control valve in your fluid sim demo will be like this you can able to increase or decrease the pressure this automatically done when you are connecting this symbolic representation in hardware if you are connecting this to your input uh, along with your frl circuit then it will control the total setup wherever the pressure dip or pressure rise can be controlled so by that i just go with the next topic once we are com completing a pressure control we have to move on with some flow control in our flow control you can able to control the flow or how much amount or quantity of the liquid or quantity of the air can be controlled by using this type of flow control valve similar to our dcv or pressure control the flow control valves are also classified based on their special features like these type of flow control valves are commonly used valve will be in one way flow control this can be classified uh, depend upon the applications like it may be an check type valve or it may be an exhaust valve or it may be an quick exhaust valve or it may be an shuttle type valve that all are be discussed in later slides i just go with uh, one simple non return valve so the common non return valves we are using in our pneumatic system will be an check valve shuttle valve and quick exhaust valve in this video i just cover check valve alone in next video we are going to deal detail about shuttle valve quick exhaust valve and the how the shuttle valve can be used for developing an r r and so first we will go with an check valve so check valve it which is similar to one one way control valve where you can able to control the poppet arrangement it can able to send the fluid either in any one direction which you are preferring the symbolic representation of your check valve will be like this where the ball is connected with the spring arrangement so the direction will be the pilot direction so if you are input will be like this and or if you are input will be through this direction towards left to right then the ball slowly moves and it compresses the spring so that the channel will be created and the input will flow through the output but if there is any flow from your right to left this ball will not move it automatically lock the path so that the flow will not allowed from right to left it can able to allow only from left to right so this type of one way controlled special flow valves are said to be a check valve 
I just go with one simple demo how you can able to create and check wall in your home uh, based gadgets itself. So we just go with a demo video. This video is took from some other YouTube channel which is not uh, which is used for some demo purpose. So I just go at the end. So you just see with the help of paste plastic bottles and the shampoo bottle, you are going to create and check wall. The wall will have an opening and it will have a ball arrangement and along with an ball dress arrangement, we will have a spring tension too. So I just fast forward it for our understanding. So I just rewind it. You just see here you are going to give an external force by using a hand pump and the pump will fill the air within the circuit and but the outcome will not be there unless the ball is automatically close the inlet. But the air will enter from out side to inside which is happened so this type of valve arrangement is set to be in and we just go with the demo and activities and the remaining shuttle valve and quick exhaust valve in next video thank you